Okay, students. Good morning, all of you. Our next topic discussion on bird pollination. See, we are discussing about agents of pollination. Some agents already we have discussed. Rest of the agents in this class we will discuss. That is bird pollination. bird pollination see so the flowers which performs pollination through birds are called bird pollination it is also called ornithophily so the pollination which occurs through birds are called bird pollination it is also called ornithophily See, generally, bird pollinated flowers will have bright colored petals. Bright, bright colored petals. Bright colored petals. That's maybe a red, yellow, green, like that. Bright colored petals with huge, huge quantity of nectar. Nectar sugary nectar is look present okay so generally uh, bird pollinated flowers will have huge quantity of nectar so birds will visit the flowers for the sake of nectar in meanwhile the flower get pollinated see here so the flower get pollinated for that help the flower provides food material to the bird bird performs pollination flower gives nectar to the birds so this is a, a kind of association is existed in between birds and flowers so bird pollinated flowers have bright colored petals and huge nectar so some of the birds especially the bird hummingbird 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 it can feed the nectar from the different types of a flowers half of its body weight of nectar per day okay see one hummingbird it will visit different 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 flowers and suck the feed the nectar in such a way one hummingbird per day it can feed half of its body weight of nectar from different species of flowers okay that's all so generally bird pollinated flowers are red silk cotton tree red silk cotton tree coral tree bottle brush Butea monospermia, that's all. So this type of uh, flowers are bird pollinated flowers, red silk cotton tree, coral tree, bottle brush, it is a kind of a tree only, Butea mono, monospermia. So these are all the examples of bird pollinated flowers. Okay, that's all. Next here, after bird, bat pollination, bat pollination. So everybody knows about bat. It is a kind of a mammal. Okay, so bat pollination, bat pollination. So the bat pollination is also called chiropterophily, the pollination which occurs through bat. That is called bat pollination. It is also called chiropterophily, chiropterophily. So that is bat pollination. So the flowers which performs pollination through bats those flowers generally bloom at night. So 
so the pollination which occurs through bat it is a kind of a animal it is a kind of animal it is called mammals it can uh, clearly seen in dark night okay so the flowers which can uh, perform pollination through bat such kind of flowers bloom bloom means what give flowering at the night time only they will give flowering night time generally they will have large dull or pale colored large dull or pale colored petals okay that's all so bat pollination pollinated flowers are banana banana plant so the banana plant uh, receives pollen grains through bat banana plant mango mango plant agave agave plant it is also called it is also called century plant it is also called century plant banana mango agave and adansonia 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 it is also called bab bab tree bab bab tree adansonia it is also called bab bab tree so these are all the plants which can performs pollination through bats okay so this is called chiropterophily so whatever the agents these are all called agents of uh, pollination so abiotic agents biotic agents these are all the agents are very important especially uh, wind pollination uh, water pollination and insect pollination these three are very very important compulsory they will ask for five marks or three marks questions okay that's all next remaining these two for the sake of objective so even some species of plants performs uh, pollination through snakes through snails through insects etc insects already we have seen especially uh, through rats uh, um, and uh, fireflies uh, some some other organisms also involved in transfer of pollen grains okay so that is uh, uh, not necessary for pu board for the sake of objective is important but when the objective discussion is going on specifically two or three bits are there those bits at that moment we will discuss okay so with this um, agents of pollination topic is finished next topic is out breeding devices see out breeding devices what is out breeding devices that means what so generally flowers performs self pollination continuously generation to generation so after certain uh, uh, stage so the plants are feel bored to do self pollination at that conditions the plants performs some modifications to attract uh, cross pollination and to stop self pollination that is called out breeding devices breeding devices are used with uh, another species of flowers that is called out breeding devices see it has been observed that continuous self pollination leads to in breeding depression in breeding depression in breeding depression see continuous self pollination so self pollination means everybody knows that transfer of pollen grains from anther to the stigma of a same flower born on the same plant that is called self pollination so if plants continuously performs a self pollination that condition leads to in breeding depression so that self pollination is damaged and the plants become weaker from generation to generation okay so yes in breeding depression see here in breeding depression means what so due to continuous self pollination the in breeding is not effective 
okay the inbreeding process inbreeding means what self pollination self pollination would be affected does not performs so continuously generation to generation generation to generation so 5 years 6 years 7 years 10 years like that continuously if the plants performs same self pollination then what happens so that self pollination would be damaged the process of damaging self pollination self pollination is called inbreeding depression see that inbreeding depression in animals also in human beings also is there see <coughs> whether you know or not i don't know the marriage between a relation leads to some defects in their children that kind of marriages are called consensuous marriages consensuous marriages see generally uh, sister daughter or sister son um, they will marry to their uh, brother okay with relation in one family with relation if uh, 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 marriage happened so as a result of that marriage so anger after one year two years they will give birth to young ones those young ones will be affected why so due to relation marriage that kind of a marriages are called consensuous marriage in human beings in medicinal language consensuous marriage in plants in breeding depression continuous self pollination continuous in between closest relation in between closest relation if we will uh, allow them to do self pollination that condition leads to self pollination is damaged so if self pollination is damaged that phenomenon is called inbreeding depression the process of uh, as a result of inbreeding depression the plants would be affected from generation to generation at several generations the plants would be affected those plants can, cannot give fruits seeds etc that is called inbreeding depression hence the flowering plants hence flowering plants the flowering plants which can produce bisexual flowers are hermaphrodites 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 nothing but bisexual flowers hermaphrodites nothing but bisexual flowers so so hermaphrodites are bisexual flowers they can modified variously to prevent self pollination and to encourage cross pollination so cross pollination leads to formation of new characters recombination happens during crossing over as a result of that what happens there is a chances of evolution of new characters so due to continuous self pollination there is no chance to get new characters if cross pollination happens there is a chances to get new characters that's why flowering plants especially the ones who can produce hermaphrodites are bisexual flowers those flowers uh, can modified variously to prevent self pollination they will discourage the self pollination and to encourage cross pollination to do that the flowers they themselves shows various kinds of modifications okay that's all so adaptations adaptations for cross pollination adaptations for cross pollination so the plants the plant flowers they themselves shows various kinds of modifications various kinds of modifications to encourage cross pollination and to discourage self pollination so what are those adaptations see first one is unisexuality unisexuality it is also called unisexuality or diclyony in this one the flowers the male and female flowers are separate the male and female flowers are separate are uh, they born on same plant at different places that is called unisexual unisexual the word only saying the meaning in this one 
the male and female flowers are separate are located on different plant that is called unisexuality example papaya papaya palm papaya plant and palm plant in this one the male and female plants are separate then they cannot perform self pollination like this way it is a kind of adaptation to encourage cross pollination and, and to discourage self pollination okay that's it it is called unisexuality it is also called diclyny so actually diclyny word they did not give in our ncert book but in objective discussion this is also they will ask so unisexuality nothing but diclyny that diclyny means what so the male and female flowers are separate or different plants okay that's a, this is one one kind of adaptations for cross pollination second one is dichogamy dichogamy so in some bisexual flowers the stamens anthers and stigma matures at different times that is called dichogamy in some bisexual flowers anther anther and stigma anther and stigma matures at different times that is called dichogamy the dichogamy is of two types one is protogyny another one is protandry protogyny and protandry protogyny and protandry protogyny protogyny see here protogyny if you will see in this one when the stigma is when the stigma is matured when stigma stigma matures and becomes receptive receptive before the maturation of anther this is called protogyny it is a kind of a adaptation for cross pollination okay so in this one when the stigma bisexual flower only in this one the stigma matures and becomes receptive ready to do pollen germination before the maturation of anther before the maturation of anther that is called protogyny that is called protogyny so it is commonly seen in banyan tree banyan tree ficus bengalensis in that one actually it is a bisexual flower but it does not performs self pollination it can perform cross pollination because the stigma matures quite earlier than anther okay that's all next uh, proto protandry protandry it is just contrast to the protogyny here when anther when when anther matures and become receptive then stigma maturation that is called protandry protandry it is commonly seen in marigold marigold plant and one more plant that is sunflower plant sunflower plant sunflower plant and marigold plant in these two plants proto protandry occurs protandry means what when anther matures and become receptive receptive means ready for pollen germination the anther the anther matures and become receptive before the maturation of stigma of the same flower that is called protandry okay so these are very very important so already protandry in first pc i said in our offline class only arthwam arthwam is a bisexual but it cannot perform self pollination because so the male reproductive organs are matures quite earlier than female reproductive organs that condition is called protandry already i said 
okay so the same word protandry in plants and animals the word is same so protandry in plants sunflower plant and marigold plant okay that's all next heterostyly so uh, dichogamy dicliny dichogamy is this is next one is heterostyly heterostyly in this one where two or three two or three different lengths of style and anthers are occurred hetero hetero means different styly styly means what different lengths of style and anthers are occurred in the flowers that is called heterostyly okay so it is of two types one is dystyly another one is dry styly tri styly the dry styly and tri styly see dry styly in this one two flowers are located the two flowers are located that is called dry styly in this one three flowers are located that's why it is called tri styly dry styly in this one two flowers are accommodated in those two flowers in one flower the stamen sorry the stigma the length of the stigma style and stigma are elongated and in the same in the same flower stamens are short in another flower short style this is called dystyly it is the condition where two or three different morphological length of style and stamens are occurred in plants this is commonly seen in primula primula plant primula plant is also called prime rose plant prime rose plant see here in between these two cell pollination does not takes place in between these two cell pollination does not takes place in between these two cell pollination there is a chances to occur in between these two cell sorry cross pollination occurs in between these two cross pollination in between these two cross pollination it would be a effective cross pollination would be effective okay that's that is called dystyly heterostyly what i said it is a in this one two flowers two flowers with the different lengths of style and stamens are exist so depends upon the length of style and uh, style and stamens the flowers are two types dystyly flowers tri styly flowers in this one it is the condition in which two or three two or three two or more morphological types of uh, morphological two or more different lengths and uh, different length of style and stigma are occurred in the plants that is called dystyly example primula prime rose tri styly tri styly what it is the condition in which three flowers with different lengths different morphological style stigma are existing different morphological styles and stigma see different morphological styles and stigma means what so it is one flower it is one flower see freshly we will draw the diagram
इट इज वन See here. In between these two, there is a chances to occur cross pollination. In between these two, there is a chances to occur cross pollination. See here. In between these two, cross pollination occurs. In between these two, cross pollination chances to occur. Okay, see here. In between these two, or else, in between these two, in between these two, in between these two, or else, in between these two. This is this may reach to here, but self pollination does not takes place. It is the condition where. Three different types of uh, flowers are there. In these three different types of flowers, um, different lengths of uh, style and anthers are occurred. Among those three different lengths of uh, style and stamens, cell pollination does not take place. There is a chances to take place cross pollination. How does it means? You have to observe here. So this flower stamen uh, stigma is height. Style is style and stigma is height. In this one, medium. In this one. completely short so in this one see here in between these two there is a chances to cross pollination in between these two there is a chances to cross pollination it is one flower it is one flower three flowers one flower second flower third flower in between these two chances to happens in between these two chances to happens cross pollination in between these two flowers chances to happen cross pollination in between these two chances to happen cross pollination okay so in between these two chances to happen cross pollination this is called tristyly it is commonly seen in auxilis plants so this is a kind of adaptation to increase cross pollination and to prevent self pollination so self pollination leads to bring new characters okay that's all so these are all um, adaptations for cross pollination first one is dicline second one is dicogamy third one is heterostyly okay dicamy dicogamy again two types protandry protogyny heterostyly again two types dicystyly tristyly in dicystyly two flowers with different lengths of uh, style and uh, stamens here three flowers with different lengths of uh, style stigma okay that's all next self incompatibility self incompatibility it is also called self sterility self incompatibility or self sterility self incompatibility it is a genetic inbuilt mechanism that prevents self pollen self pollen from fertilizing or germinating by its own ovule that is called self incompatibility so self incompatibility or self sterility it is a genetically inbuilt mechanism 
what is that impulse mechanism that prevents self pollen self pollen germinating on its own stigma on its own stigma that means what here here this will release pollen grains pollen grains some flowers they will prevent self pollen grains germination on the stigma by preventing pollen germination or pollen tube growth in the same flower that is called self incompatibility or self sterility it is very common in some of the plants such as grasses tobacco and orchids orchids though those are bisexual flowers but they cannot perform self pollination so genetically they have inbuilt mechanism due to that mechanism they prevent the self pollen germination self pollen self pollen germination by preventing the pollen germination growth pollen germination or pollen tube growth here already said here so pollen grains landed on the stigma here they will germinate and forms pollen tube okay so maybe they stop pollen germination on the stigma or pollen tube growth on the stigma in these two stages they will stop the pollen germination that phenomenon is called self incompatibility it is also called self sterility okay that's a, it is commonly seen in, in these plants it is very very important point that prevents the that prevents self pollen self pollen fertilization self pollen fertilization or pollen germination or pollen tube growth by inhibiting the process on the stigma this process is called self incompatibility so because of this genetic inbuilt mechanism some flowers they prevent the self pollination and uh, performs cross pollination with another flower that is self incompatibility so it is very important definition for two marks